like to tell people that when I came for my interview in the summer of 1990, and I drove, I was driven onto campus right by on Robinson Road entrance. And as soon as I entered the campus, I said to myself, I've come home. I've never forgotten that. Such a sense of belonging. I hadn't even been interviewed or offered the job. So when we moved to Grand Rapids, my husband and our four kids, um, we settled in and uh, I loved working in campus ministry. I loved working at Aquinas College. I loved the community of Aquinas College. I loved the Dominican Catholic environment. If I think back over all those years, I am especially grateful for my team. Uh, Terry Marshall, Eric Bridge were with me for many, many years until I retired. And then Father Stan, who is now still present on campus, uh, joined our team just a few years before I retired. And I'm just grateful for those folks and uh, how we work together and how we try to bring Christian community, Catholic community to campus. What were my aspirations to serve God? It's always been my aspiration to do what God wants me to do and to live life fully, to live life fully and take advantage of every adventure that comes along, every opportunity and to serve other people, to serve the poor, to serve the world, to try to bring about a better world, um, and to love my family, love my husband. And I'm proud of our ministry at Aquinas, um, the campus ministry, we, the retreats we had, we had outdoor retreats, we had biking retreats, backpacking retreats, uh, silent retreats. And what I'm most proud of is that we we were open and inclusive and loved we just tried to build community bridges and helping people feel welcome and helping walking with people on their journey to god and everybody's journey to god is different believe me everybody's journey is different and i'm most proud of being able to walk with people and respect their journey and enable them to open their heart more and more to God and to themselves and to the world. Well, I'm very honored to receive this award, very honored. But I'm also aware that I don't receive this award alone. There's hundreds of people that worked with me over the years. Every retreat we had had a whole team of students, you know, on campus staff had teams to plan Thomas Aquinas Week my own team, Terry and Eric, and then later Father Stan, and other priests over the years that served with us. You know, awards aren't given to one person, they're given one person receives the award, but lots of people were part of campus ministry and the program we had on campus. Just, I'm very grateful, grateful for my years at Aquinas.